Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we will be showing you how to create a catenary curve using Kangaroo. A catenary curve is the curve that an idealized hanging chain or cable assumes under its own weight when supported only at its ends. A hanging chain will assume a shape of least potential energy. This results in the ideal distribution of tension or compression forces. Catenaries and related curves are used in architecture and engineering so that forces do not result in bending moments. This method was used famously by Anthony Gaudi, specifically in the design of the Sagrada Familia. Now, if you haven't seen the previous lesson where I created a pendulum using kangaroo, be sure to go ahead and watch that first because the majority of the setup will be the same for this exercise. I will quickly show you the setup here. One thing I will change from the pendulum setup is that I will be feeding both endpoints through the anchor component. We will be adding in two extra components, divide curve and shatter. And the divide curve will get a number slider input so we can easily change the number of divisions that our chain will have. Now this time we will be adding the force vector to the points generated by the divide curve component. And you can see here, we are taking the values of where the points are divided and passing these through the shatter component so that the line will actually be broken into segments. These are the lines that will be output into the length component from Kangaroo. So once we've got all that set up, we can run the bouncy solver and see that while running, we can adjust the force that's being applied and it will, it will adjust in real time. And once this extra force has been applied, you can see that the divided lines are not equal as some are being stretched further than others, which is not exactly a hanging chain. So to resolve this, we can adjust the strength of these lines down here. And once we, we make these lines stronger, we can see now that these lines will all hold the same length. One thing that you notice here is that when we try to adjust the number of segments while the bouncy solver is running we have a bit of a difficult time so we will need to reset it in these instances and you can see that as i play around and change different parameters that the length of the lines start to get stretched again with the extra force so of course that's something you have to keep an eye on i would just yeah make the strength of the line really strong so you never have a problem with that but for now, that's all that's to creating a catenary or hanging chain with kangaroo. So thank you so much for watching to the end. Be sure to like and subscribe as I will be putting out new lessons very soon. Thanks.